Hey everybody, um, so it's Tuesday, had a Monday yesterday, and had a Monday today, uh, truck driver decided not to show, and kind of screwed me out of two loads today, which shorts me two loads for the week, pay for the week, you know, so that's a bummer. And then my buck saw chain broke. Um, what it did, and I was, it was kind of a bad moment, so I didn't, uh, I wasn't really videoing anything. But what happened was, is it pulled this rivet right here. It just pulled. So these two, the, I hope I'm holding this in the right spot. I'm sorry. Um, but anyways, it pulled this rivet, like one side, I forget what side, it pulled. So it separated, so the chain came apart. And the uh, the strap and the tooth, the tooth was bent out like this. So I took it to a place called Cochran's, Cochran Farm Equipment, Cochran Supply up in Somerset, PA. If you ever uh, you ever needing in parts and you're working in PA, check them guys out. Old Don and them boys up there. They're, I'd love to be a fly on the wall at that place for a while. There's a lot to be learned up there. But either way... So, that happened, got the chain fixed, when I took the chain off, realized there was some damage to the bar that may have caused the actual break itself, not sure if it did or not, but I had to buy a new bar, and that was not cheap, but um, as you can see, I'm going to have to sharpen this, this tooth hit something, I don't know what it hit, the other ones ain't too bad. I mean, there's a couple down here. Oh, I'm looking. See that one there is going to need a little love. They all need a little bit. Not. It's not terrible. So they did give me this file, and no, I'm not going to file this. I'm going to. I mean, although that cuts pretty nice. How about that crap, huh? But no. Um, I was told by a couple people. To use a grinder to do this and a grinding wheel and a grinding wheel but i have to i don't know how i can show this what i have to do here is i have to round the edges of this wheel off so, so it's similar to that file okay that way when it cuts the tooth let's put this back here like that so when it gets into the tooth there's a tooth. That round part falls down in there, you know what I mean? I can't have it squared. That would be no good. So I have to round this over on a stone or a piece of concrete or a piece of metal <clears throat> and then touch it. You got to touch each tooth with the grinder. Something uh, similar to, you know, you'd be like hitting it there and you'll be hitting it there. And But I got to do it to where I don't blue the tooth. So, you know, you can only do a little bit at a time. Obviously, if you blew the tooth, you'd screw the temper and the steel up. Dolls real fast. We don't want to do that. So, this would this video be. This would be my first attempt at ever sharpening a harvester chain or a sawbuck chain or great big chain. And I'm sure that I'm going to do something not right. Um, I find out I learn best by doing... I've got all the advice that I think I can possibly, you know, possibly get for doing something like this, and you know, there's a learning curve, and I'm gonna screw something up. So if you're watching this, saying, "Oh man, you're doing that all wrong," yeah, I probably am. So uh, I'm not gonna dispute that. But give me a minute here. I'm gonna go round that wheel off, and. Uh, get some safety glasses and crap and we'll turn this back on while I'm doing it all right um, as you can see it's not perfect but it's pretty close so I think I'm gonna go ahead and give it a whirl See what we come up with, huh? 
Safety, safety. Of course, OSHA, I think, says you have to have a face shield on, but maybe that's just with cutting wheels. I'm not sure. me doing here with the file after I cut it creates a little burr on this top so all I'm doing is now I'm going to come into the cutting surface just real light I mean I'm not even putting any pressure on it just enough to take that burr off and it's I, mean, I don't know how you can see it. it just takes it right off and then after once this is sharp the first piece of wood I cut, I'll make sure it's like a piece of aspen or something of the like. Something soft to set the tooth. Once the tooth is set, then I will be good. We're going to paint this first tooth so I know that that's the one I sharpened. And we will continue on. Look, this is a good example. I don't know if it's going to focus, but I just touched that with the towel. The, oh, it just fell off. There was a burr there. I hope you saw it. If I get another one, I'll show you. See how the light's hitting it now? Right there. You see that burr? You can feel it when you touch it with the file. It, you can tell right away when it comes off. Sharp. I mean, they feel sharp. That doesn't necessarily mean they'll cut. If you've ever spent some time hand sharpening a chainsaw, you'll know what I mean. Just because it looks and feels sharp doesn't mean it's at the right angles. So I hope I'm doing this all right. I'm just trying to mirror what's there and, uh, you know, roll the old dice, see what happens.
bad too. After, what's it look like? You tell me. There it is after. I think I got it pretty darn good. Now there's still that nick. There's still that nick on this side, but I'm not going to worry about that because I don't want to go too far. I don't want to get my teeth out. Of, you know, this one sharpened a little, this one a bunch, you know, and it's going to start cutting weird. So uh, that will get that on the next go around. I'm, I'm sure I can hit something else before I get there. That's it, folks. I don't know. I mean, I think I did a pretty good job. I guess we'll find out tomorrow, huh? Uh, I'll try to maybe get on video the bar swap and all that stuff, because that'll be the first time I've ever did any of that crap. So, hope y'all enjoyed. If I did anything wrong, feel free to point it out. If you got any other pointers, if you've done this many times, feel free to tell me, man. I'm, I'm. I'm open to all kind of ideas and criticism, so I don't ever claim to be, I never claim to know what I'm doing. I'd rather be lucky than good any day. Thanks for watching, everybody.